Welcome to Poisonous Plants 1 to 1, a story about poisonous plants told in 121 seconds. Heraclium mantigasianum is one of the few plants where I tend to favour the common name, giant hogweed, for simplicity. There is a juice in the stems and leaves that contains furocoumarins, substances that make the skin sensitive to light. People exposed to this juice find that a day or so later they burn at the point of contact. The skin can stay sensitive for some time, and there are many accounts of repeat burning in the years following exposure. Each year, there are reports of quite serious effects requiring hospital treatment, but there are probably many more where the effect is unpleasant, but not bad enough to result in the sufferer seeking help. It is not native in the UK, but was brought here in Victorian times to be a large garden feature plant. There is still much we don't know about the plant, so what follows is mostly speculation. I doubt if the plant would have been brought to the UK if its nastiness was known, so I wonder if it doesn't cause problems in its native territory. The furocoumarins are thought to be produced as a reaction to attack by a root fungus, making humans collateral damage in the plant's survival attempts. I wonder if the root fungus does not occur in the giant hogweed's native area, meaning it has not learnt how to keep the furocoumarin production in balance. Other plants, like the parsnip, produce the same chemicals but cause very few problems, perhaps because evolution has created a balance. But whatever the mechanism, watch out for giant hogweed, especially along riverbanks, and avoid any contact with it of any sort. For a lot more information on poisonous plants, please visit www.thepoisongarden.co.uk